I think the white bass might be running. Yeah, now that was fun. What's up everybody, Derek here. And today I am at a new place I've never fished before and it's early morning. And just listen to the sound of that. It sounds like spring is in the air and hopefully along with that is some white bass running up this shallow river that I've got right here. I mean, look at these banks. It is so shallow. It is probably about one to two foot out there and then there's a channel that's a little bit further out there. And hopefully if these white bass are in here, they're gonna be running right up into the shallows, which is not too far up. I think it's probably about a mile or so, but it's still pretty shallow right here. So I've got a spinner tied on. I've got some other stuff like grubs and other things that I can throw on and toss out here. It's kind of fairly muddy, but it's got just a light flow, just a little bit flowing in here. So. Hopefully these suckers are held up in some spots or some little deep pockets. I don't know. I'm just going to go up through here and go fishing. So let's get started. All right, here's my rooster tail I'm going to be using. It's, it's an older one, but it's gotten me a lot of fish in the past and it still works great. It's got a great hook on it. So one eighth ounce. So hopefully we get into some fish. All right, I'm gonna be starting off with this white rooster tail. It's a 1 8 ounce, and hopefully I get into some fish. It's, it's got a little rust on the blade, but it's a silver blade, and I've had this thing forever, so hopefully this thing gives me a little bit of luck, and it spins awesome still. So hopefully there's some white bass holding up in some of this structure and these little pockets, and the reason I kind of like this bank is because it's deeper on that channel side. Where I'm sitting right now is about a foot deep, and over there it's about two or three foot deep. So if those white bass are in here, there's a direct drop off in that channel so hopefully they're right up in that channel and I can find them in a pocket somewhere down through here. Alright I came upstream alright I came upstream and as you can see it really gets where it's real shallow and starting to come through here I don't know particularly if it's going to be deep enough for these white bass to run up through here it looks like there might be a slight channel over there but it's really starting to get really shallow almost like getting to where it's almost a waterfall type situation so I don't know if those white bass will actually be running in about six inches of water or not but I figured I might as well go up here and give it a shot it looks fairly deep on this side over here Oh, there's a fish. There's one right there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Finally got into them. Hopefully, they're down through here. Ah, settle down, buddy. Settle down. Settle down. Oh, I got to get him on my left. I got my... Oh, I forgot my board. See how long he is. Oh, well, I got a measuring tape. I got to get out. Hopefully, it's kind of... Helps us out here. I know I got the mouth open right there, but oh yeah, that's a 10 incher right there. That's a keeper. Nice. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Or it felt like a good one. Oh yeah, they're in here in this channel. That looks like another keeper to me. Let's see here. Alright, let's see if that's a keeper. Ah, ah, stop it. I hate doing this. I wish I would have brought my crappie bump board. 10 inches. Sure is. It's a keeper. There. Oh, there was another one. There. We got one that time. Nice. It was running with it. Oh, that looks like another 10 incher right there. Let's check it out with 
measure tape. Let's see here. I know the mouth is open, but oh. see there's 10 inches right there, so close the mouth. Hopefully it doesn't flop. 10 inches. Bam. There's one right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Better than me, I got none. I hadn't caught any all the way down through there. Uh oh. What was that? What'd you lose? I lost something something went in that was dark colored right there. Yeah. I lost my foot. Oh my god. Uh -huh. oh. well you got a crankbait. You got a crankbait tied on, so all you gotta do is drag that bottom. It's about two foot right there. I seen where it went in, so. No, they're in here. There's one right there. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a tugger right there. Get over here. Get over here. Another 10 incher. We shall see. Oh yeah, 10 inches. There's one right there. Just kind of going along the bottom down there. I think they're closer to the bottom because it seems like as that rooster tail gets further down there, they really start hitting. There's, oh, there was another hit. Take it. Oh, he got it that time. He's running with it. That's a good one right there. Nice. Tearing them up, tearing them up. This is awesome. Oh. 10 inches, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Man, they are hitting it. When they hit it, they are trying to annihilate it. The call. Oh, that's a 10 incher. We need some for the frying pan, so. There's a good one right there. That one smacked it good. Come on, get on up here. That's a real good one. Got to get him in this. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a bigger one right there. Nice. We got a, we got a big one. That's probably our biggest one we caught so far. Probably 12 inches. Oh yeah, 12 inches right there. Nice. Oh, there's a good one right there. Let's get over here. Let him run a little bit. Oh, I don't want to lose him. Uh, I don't think that's a keeper. Just by looking at him. We'll check real quick. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, just barely. Yep, that's a keeper. I mean, by about a quarter inch. But we're trying to get some for the frying pan, so. Oh, there's another one. They are coming up now. They are really hitting. Oh, ha, he came undone in the boat. That's nice. I think that's a keeper right there again. Ten inches. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's a good one. Get up in here. I don't want to lose you. Oh, that's a real good one. Is that another 12 incher? Let's see. Is this a, could this be my biggest one so far? Does it beat the other one? Oh nope. Eleven and a half. Oh, right there. He was right there. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was cool. I was waiting for one to do that. Let's see. Ten inches. Yes, sir. Come on. Get out of there. I think that's a keeper. Let's see. It's going to be right at the edge of it. Oh, 10 inches. There's one right there. Oh, I got to put my rod real high so I don't lose him. There's one right there. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's a keeper. There. There we got one. Could this be our limit fish? Could this be our limit fish? Please be. Oh yeah, I think that is. Let's see if it is 10 inches. Oh, stop bud. This one gonna do it? Yes! Barely. Barely got it. Like ten and a quarter almost. Nice. Oh. That was some fun fishing right there. Well, we got us a limit. 25 of these things. And they're all over 10 inches and it's going to be a nice fish fry that I'm going to have with all of these. It was so much fun coming out here and doing this. I got to come back and do this. But I noticed whenever I was actually talking to people and watching other people that were fishing, I was fishing super slow. I basically stayed in the same spot the whole time with that one little spinner bait. And I was just kind of ticketing almost along the bottom. It's only about three foot deep and I didn't see one other person today catch a fish. People seen me catching the fish and they were fishing in front of me and behind me and they weren't catching anything. And I think it's because I was being real methodical and real slow with my retrieve to try to put it in front of their face. And when it was around them, they were hitting it so aggressive. So these white bass are definitely starting to run up these creeks and up the rivers and out of the lake and get up into those back pockets. So 
you definitely got to get out there because Texas is going to be on fire real soon spreading up north. So hopefully I get out here and make some more videos. But let me know what you guys think. And thanks for watching, you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.